hey guys what's up welcome to topic 6 and over here i'm just going to quickly show you guys what we have as a final render and you guys can see how clear this render is and how is it looking so nice you can even see a couple of blurry images here which we would get from a nice camera you know with the depth of field done up really well over here but there are can there can definitely be a couple of more updates and more changes in this as you guys can see the flooring over here has uh, you know shown itself has to be very thin we can actually have a it having a little bigger scale maybe and uh, otherwise i like the entire look of the whole uh, room in general as you guys can see we have uh, uh, you can see some of the background over here now in this particular image we can actually have a couple of things changed about we can add on our uh, dome light over here so i'm just going to be doing a couple of more changes and showing you guys one more final render but what i'm going to do before that is i'm actually going to save this file out over here so let me just quickly go ahead and save this as a uh, master bedroom and once i'm actually done with this let me just quickly uh, close this from here and shut this down as well and as i told you guys we will be uh, doing a couple of more things like adding this dome light now when i add this dome light over here you guys will actually understand that we're going to actually get a sky outside over here secondly i spoke about the materials uh, which is this particular flooring material that we have here i'm going to change the scale to one and i'm actually going to take out an interactive render just to see if there is a change actually happening over here now i'm going to show you guys another thing with the interactive render and what you guys can really do is if you just want to have a look at what's happening with the floor what you can do is you can simply click on this region render sign and kind of just select the region that you want uh, you know to be rendered and what's going to happen is this particular region itself is going to start getting uh, more and more clearer and is going to actually uh, you know first complete its uh, entire render and show us what it really looks like so i'm just going to repeat this step one more time so let me just stop these you can either take out an interactive render or even a regular render so let me just try this with a regular render and i'm going to then do a region selection over here you can see the region is still selected over here and you can see how the region is basically getting out rendered and this helps us because uh, then a lot of other portions are not getting rendered so we can you know keep a focus on this particular region of ours itself and you guys can then see how this is particularly looking so uh, that's basically about how you can even use region render to understand whether this looks fine i think we need to change the uh, material over here so what i'm going to do is i'm actually uh, going to open up v-ray over here and i'll select another material let's say like this drag this and drop it here and i'm just going to apply that material over here like this now as you can see how this floorboard is let me just increase the size to let's say 1.5 i think this would be much better and finally i can actually go ahead and set this scene i'm going to take out another scene a little bit now something a little different a little close up maybe something like this and we're going to actually try having this as our render over here so we've added this floorboard over here and increased the scale now let's actually get into the render portion now what i'm going to do is after i have set this scene over here like this i'm actually going to you know add a depth of field over here again so for that let me just quickly remove uh, interactive render so that we can actually see what the depth of field is going to look like and stop the region render as well so that it completely you know gets a full render like that starts off with now over here we can see that i can just defocus this slightly more so that this portion starts to get a little bit defocused off you can see how that's you know coming up to be it's going to actually be quite defocused let's reduce it and see if that makes a change in it it's better always to just move your model a little bit interactive so that you know this portion has to feel that uh, movement and then automatically it will start to kind of uh, you know show you what it really looks like so otherwise i think that we can go for this let me just change the scene a little bit and come back into scene five i really think this looks really neat and quite nice as well so what we can do is we can uh, just increase this slightly i think that's good enough and what we do even want to see over here is um, a little bit difference in the white balance so i think we can increase the exposure to let's just say 14 so i'll just put this out to 14 and see how that looks it's going to get a little bit more brighter 
uh, and it's actually going to uh, stand this entire way because we need a little bit more brightness in this uh, so yeah for this will actually reduce it so we need to reduce that think 12 instead of 14 12 or 14 what do you think is better accordingly i think this looks nice let's say if i add a 0.5 to this 12 0.48 yeah i think this looks really nice really neat again and we have a good close-up angle here we've got the blur in the position that we need and we can actually let this be and we can get a render of this and i think this could actually uh you know work out very well especially with the flooring the way we have kind of uh, you know changed it right now so definitely i think we'll go with this render i'll just change the angle out of here a little bit one more time to kind of just see yeah we'll just bring back this angle i can stop stop and we can go for a final render of this particular scene which will be a you know a complete render it's not going to be an interactive render remember close progressive uh, remember to keep your render quality at uh, a 190, uh, 1920 by 1080 for a very high quality render and we can simply go ahead and click on the render button and this is going to be the final render that we're going to actually have after scrutinizing everything and kind of uh, bringing out all those detail changes and things like that and getting a very close up nice shot like this this is going to be our second and final shot uh, so let's just wait for this to get complete and i will see you guys in the next project but before we even get into the next project i'm going to be talking about a little bit of post-production at the end of this video after this is rendered so i'll be showing you guys how that post-production can be done and the post-production will be done in v-ray itself you won't even need to use anything like photoshop so let this quickly get done and i'll see you guys in the uh, end of the video So guys we're basically done with the render now and as you guys can see this is what we have come out with and you can see it's really nice we can actually see the kind of detail that we have picked up on this uh, particular area and this is because of our geometry setting which we have done you can even go ahead and see that the pillow behind is having good texture looks really really nice and especially the depth of field over here looks really great as well so i, I think this is a a, a good uh, uh, you know render at the end of the day and what i'm going to now talk about is how do you actually do a little bit of post production in this uh, v-ray itself so once your render is done you can always save a channel so let me just go ahead and do that all right and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and click on this first show corrections control over here and what that's going to let me do is it's actually going to let me add and change a couple of things over here like exposure the white balance use saturation color balance levels curves there's so many different things that i can do to actually make this view even look better right so let's see how that's possible so you can just switch that on and you can actually see how i can control how the timing should look it looks really awesome this way as well we can you know get a couple of changes so it's mostly about trial over here you can try which is looking good how is it looking really soft day you want to keep it maybe so we've got a good brightness this way just go ahead i think this looks really nice okay, a little deeper yeah i think that's great uh and you can see now the difference in that all together so that looks really awesome just in the uh, entire view and especially we have softened this portion out well really well you can actually have a look at that and this is how we're going to actually start making this view look even much more better than it anyway looks so let me just go ahead and drop that down now we can set temperature here this is mostly like hot and cold temperature and you always have this and you can see this will take it more towards a little more cooler side and you can see how this is looking as well so depending on the entire color tone i think depending on the furniture the kind of colors you use you can actually set the see here we're kind of highlighting the orange so that's mostly the wood which is getting highlighted and if we kind of take it here it's mostly the backdrops the gray kind of tone which is getting highlighted so what exactly are you kind of looking for you can see it automatically just changes the whole look with just a uh, simple temperature change you know so i can set it down if i'm looking for a, you know a, like a cold uh you know a snowy morning maybe this this was what i would be expecting and i think i like this so i'll go ahead with this one 
then you've got the un saturation so let's get that on uh, and very slight changes over here because this is actually going to change color directly uh, remember saturation is what we can add to so this kind of uh, brings out the, uh, the the kind of i would say it kind of makes the color jump a little bit as you can see but when you decrease this it kind of makes it go back you can see it kind of makes it look that uh, dull again you can see how that entire pink is getting picked up over here and over here we can have it you know less finished off so really i think i would go for something like this and then definitely the lightness and the you know brightness what we can have and we shouldn't be you know fidgeting too much with this because mostly the light setup is done with our uh, understanding in the render itself but you can definitely see how i've kind of made that uh, brown part look much better previously when it looked somewhat like this with the yellow so it's usually kind of uh, we're kind of changing certain things to make them look in a certain way and you can see how we can get this nice thing done over here so i'm just going to switch these off and i mean just uh, shut down the tabs now we can go into color balance i will not be doing any color balance over here, but you guys can definitely try you've got curves as well as levels so you've got a lot of these different uh, kind of production things that we can do over here basically uh, the level would uh, make a change if you guys uh, you know want to kind of make some kind of a change in the levels so we can see over here if i just move this you can actually see that change which is taking place again this is mostly like the brightness and contrast thing so you can actually set it the way you do you just need to kind of go from any one edge and kind of just make sure you're pulling this dot over here and the minute i set this i think i can set it over here this is what i'm kind of looking for yeah i think that's much better and you can see now this is somewhat what i think the final look will you know be like and this i think really uh, gives me a very good uh, feeling of the whole view together so i'm just going to save this as well so let me just go ahead and save this over here as mb3 and why don't we check them side by side and over here we've got the first image which we you know took out initially which was the first render and then we kind of changed it out to that it looks quite good this way so you can actually do a lot of changes to this and kind of you know bring it down kind of alter everything and get it down to the kind of day that you want very soothing very calm day more realistic i think this would be and uh, we can actually get such kind of views all together done finally in vr and just take it directly for presentation uh, so i hope you guys are able to reach this kind of a level as well and i'll see you guys in the next project take care